Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at the grow bucket. So this is a kind of a simplified way to do the self warning container, similar to how the earth boxes work, similar to how the do-it-yourself bucket and bucket setups are. And I'm going to do another video showing how to make one of those, but for now I want to show the grow bucket. I haven't used one before, and I will say that I'm not sponsored by them. They don't I have not had any contact with the company, but I saw a friend um, post his on, on Facebook and it looked interesting, so I looked at it. Got it on Amazon. They're about, I think it's like $40 for what well, you need to make three of these. And the only thing you need is a bucket and a, a drill with a small drill bit. This is a 10 millimeter bit. You can use like a quarter inch bit. That's just for the overflow hole. So that's that's all you need. Looks like a pretty cool system. I'll open it up here in just a second. Basically, it's got an insert that goes in the bottom. Potty mix will go on top of that, and then the fill, there'll be a fill tube that goes down in it. It won't let it fill, but up to whatever that point is. With it inserted, the potty mix will be kept above the nutrient level, so you have that air gap underneath. But it, it tapers down to a point where potty mix can come down and that acts as the basically the potty mix becomes a wick. The do-it-yourself bucket and bucket systems have one bucket inside of another and the top bucket has a bunch of holes drilled in it and like a three inch net copper or something coming out of the bottom. Potty mix goes in it so that kind of acts as the wick. It's a very similar system. Like I said I'll do another video showing how to build one of those and those work really well. I, I, I use them all the time. This looks like a simpler approach, easier to set up and you don't have to have as much stuff to do it. You First, some people complain you know, just from looking at it on Facebook saying, well, you can just make your own or whatever. And uh, you can, but I mean, one one advantage, you um, only need one bucket instead of two. And you only need a drill and a small drill bit. And that's pretty much it. With the bucket and bucket system, you need two buckets, knit cup, and a three-inch hole saw, which a lot of people don't have. And they're kind of expensive. So uh, I think it's worth it if it seemingly it works well. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with one of these next to one of my bucket and bucket setups growing the same type of plant and we'll see how they how they do i suspect it'll do really well just looking at the design another thing i want to point out before i, I know i'm kind of long-winded being up to showing this but for these type systems i like to use these black buckets and you get them at the hydroponic store these are like the hydroponic buckets are about ten dollars a piece but uh, walmart online has had the exact same brand same bucket so you had to get it online not in the store but but they're they're a lot cheaper if you buy a 10 pack i recommend using that because with the thinner cheap buckets you get in the store they'll let a little bit of light in and the nutrients uh, will, will build up will get algae in it these prevent that so that's why i like using these let me open this up and we'll take a look at it box is a little bit beat up and difficult to open okay so each box comes with what you need for three buckets minus the bucket of course so it's got i guess stickers where you can put your date on it as a usage instruction they're really on the box too another good thing about this which i'll show here in a minute is these also come with a water level indicator and that's what these are so basically that lets you know when nutrients are low and that's something you won't have with the uh, diy buckets so these are in two parts Fill tubes. This cap goes on top of the fill tube. It's like a other thing too. It's got a little uh, kind of a large filter to keep debris from falling down into it. That's another bonus. You get three of these, and this is the insert. So I'm going to put two of these back in here. The rest of my parts. Set this out of the way. Following the instructions, I need to drill a hole in the bucket. I want to do a test fit first, just to see how this looks. So basically how this works, there's some tiny ridges under here, and that's going to let the water seep out. So when you install it, you got to drill the hole install it down with this part where the hole is and then potty mix gets packed down really tight around the edge where the wicking is going to occur once that's done you loosely pack it not packing it down but you just fill it normally you'd have your fill pipe installed of course you'd pack your your potting mix above that so your nutrient level is going to be coming up to about here potting mix is going to be around and wicking up along the edges on the bottom 
and this uh, top part here is the aeration screen. So you're going to have a gap, air gap underneath this above the nutrients. So that allows uh, some air to get to the potty mix above here and lets the uh, roots kind of air prune a little bit. You really need that on any of these like that you make your own earth boxes or these. That's critical to have that air gap between the, the, the air screen and the uh, nutrients. Kind of test fit this here. Yeah, this, this kind of locks that on. You can put your little handwritten label there. Okay, the way the water indicator goes, this is the bottom part. This is the top that will feed up through there. That goes together like that. This will go down in here. And this will fit there. When you fill it up, this is going to pop up and as the nutrients go down, so you can kind of get an idea of when you need to add water or nutrients. So that's how that looks from that angle. All right, so uh, let me get a measure tape and I'll drill the hole and um, fill it up with potty mix. What I'm using is just straight cocoa and I've added some perlite. I've grown this size container with just straight cocoa and had great results. A lot of people say you really need to add perlite. I don't know that it's necessary, but I don't think it hurts anything to do it. So you can stretch your cocoa out a little more. So this is the Canna brand. Uh, one thing I do too, I, another I'll point out if you use per, mixed perlite, it's good to rinse it first and then mix it with your whatever you're mixing it with. But this is just what I use. I like to use cocoa, uh, but you could just use straight out of the bag potty mix in one of these and that works fine too. Just buy something from Lowe's or whatever. Uh, if you're going to use hydroponic nutrients, I wouldn't get the miracle Grow that has fertilizer in it. Just straight, just plain well draining potting mix that doesn't have any nutrients and then and then you're going to be feeding it with the hydroponic nutrients. Alternately, you could use the um, stuff that has the nutrients in it already and then just w feed it with water and you may need to add some slow release, mix it in, but I, I like to use hydroponic nutrients with these. That's, that's just what I use and um, I've had good success with that. Move this out of the way. I'll be right back with a measure tape. I don't have a pencil handy. I'm just going to use um, this drill bit to scratch a mark on it. But I said three and a half inches. I'm going to try to get it kind of even with this just to make it look clean. I just made a little mark for three and a half inches there. Okay, this has some good for I was reading the instructions. This has some good points. When you first start out, you top water for a few days and until until the plants start to grow. So you, you really want to top water first uh, and then start filling from the reservoir. For uh, indoor use, you fill until just a few drops run out of the water hole, out of the overflow hole, and then you mark on here where that is so you know and then actually mark it a little bit above that so you don't so you can, you can know more easily where to fill it up to without uh, overflowing and running everywhere but anyway so i'm going to take the drill this is a three and a half inch line i'm going to put the base of the drill at the top of that because that's where the water is overflowing at that point okay Let's see where i've got my bit and my Three and a half inch line is right at the bottom of that. I usually like to kind of trim these a little bit just to clean it up. Yeah, so that's it. In the grow bucket, there's my hole. You want to start the the insert, grow bucket insert, so this is, so the hole is right here in relation to this. Let's see. Let's see, there's a hole. There's that. And... When it's installed, make sure your hole lines up with the fill tube. So we got that in there. Our water level indicator. And this thing. Yeah, I like it. It's a really clean 
really clean setup and you can bang these out really fast it take you a lot longer to make the bucket and buckets i'm probably gonna if this works well i'm probably just gonna use these here on out because i've got a bunch of the uh bucket and bucket ones and i, I use them every year but i don't know that i'll make new ones when i can these are like about 13 dollars a piece and saves way more time because with the other we got to drill a million little holes and you got to drill a three inch hole you got to do all and get your pvc and you got to get source the pvc pipe and cut it it just takes a lot more time and need more material Materials. So I really like the idea of this if it works. And the plant that I'm going to put this in, put in this is one of these golden zucchini. I've got a few more than one started. I'm going to do a grow test with the Mars Hydro TS1000. It's actually in this tent here. So that's what I'm going to be used for the grow test. So I'm going to get this set up, install my plant, and uh, put it on there initially under some really low light, but then I'll gradually increase it. But let me get this filled up and uh, I'll show you how it looks. Go ahead and see. Stick this on here. I'll get a pen and I'll write the date. What it is. Okay. So you pack it around the edges. That's where the wicking is going to occur. And then you put it a little more loosely. The rest of it. And they said to put mulch on the top when you're when you're done, but I'm not going to do that on. Okay, it's pretty well packed, and that's around the edges, not on top. Let's see how that looks. And then I'm just going to fill the rest. All right, leaving a little bit of a gap. On the top in case I do want to put something over top. So I'm going to install my plant. Some of these are in little, yeah that one's in a little jiffy, uh, not a jiffy but a rapid reader. So I want to take that one out. The other, I put two of the rapid readers with one seed each and then I put some extra seeds um, just as backups. Yeah that's the other one there in the rapid reader. Use my little gun pick to kind of pull that out. I'm trying to, I think this zucchini, I've never grown it before, but it grows like crazy. You can already see roots popping out everywhere. You can see the, how that one looks. This already got roots coming out. They, they just came up a couple days ago. So. Put that in the center, and then I'll, I'm going to gently. Is that root poking out there? Get back down in there. Gently top water, and then I'm going to put it in the grow tent and let it go. All right, so I've got the grow bucket plant set up. I top watered until I didn't fill it all the way up, but the, the reservoir the instructions say that each leaf represents a quarter of the reservoir and it holds a gallon. So I'll top water a little bit until the wicking gets going and then I'll just fill through this hole and then that's all I need to do from that point. On the initial filling, it's something I'd usually do with seedlings like this indoors, I'll uh, use this product called Recharge and it's supposed to be really good to uh, help the roots develop on uh, young plants. And uh, yeah, so I've got the Mars Hydro light at 25% and it's in the Mars Hydro tent so it should be good. I've got a AC Infinity cloud line uh, exhaust fan outside of the tent, but this is the uh, vent hose. Looks like it's going to work really well. I really love this design. I like the water level indicator. I like the little screen around it, kind of prevents debris from falling in. It's just really clean looking and it saves a lot of time, a lot of materials and tools that you might, might need otherwise. So I think it's worth the money. It, assuming that it works, and I think that it will, I'm pretty confident that it's going to work well. I'll be doing two more of these outside and I'll show those as well when they're set up. It looks kind of wet now, but with, with these wicking setups, once the plant starts growing and, and the wicking action starts, this top layer will dry out and you'll, the, it's, it's not going to just stay super wet the whole time. I'll show it. I'll show the plant as it progresses and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. But this plant should get pretty big really fast and uh, be a good test for the grow bucket and the Mars Hydro Light. So uh, anyway, I hope, I hope you like that. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.